Christina. I'm Ross. And today it's 4th of July, so our Independence Day. And most people are probably celebrating with hot dogs or hamburgers. We decided to do something a little bit different. We've been trying to eat a bit healthier by reducing some of the meat in our diet. And while we have tried some of the meatless hamburgers, like I think we had a Boca burger, which we really enjoyed, we happened to be in our discount grocery store, grocery outlet, and we found this corn, which is meatless grounds. And I was kind of intrigued. I thought, you know, let's give it a try, see how it is, and let's try making meatless tacos out of them. So we are going to have 4th of July tacos tonight and trying corn for the first time. And I got it out and I was looking at it just to check how to prepare it. And I was actually surprised to see it's a product of the United Kingdom. So it fits in with a lot of what we're doing on our channel. Yes, and also a uh, shout out to Denti who commented about uh, us actually trying this. So, looking at a little, little info, 7.1 ounces, uh, total fat two grams, Saturated fat, 0 0.5 grams. Cholesterol, 0 milligrams. Joy, 0. <laughs> now let's not prejudge. I'm going to mix it up with a little taco sauce, put all the fixings on it, and hopefully that will help make it good. Kind of like the Boca burgers. I mean, those actually tasted pretty good. You get Most all of your, your, you know, tomato, lettuce, condiments and it's actually pretty good. Now what's interesting though is the ingredients, 94% is mycoprotein. I don't know what that is besides it says it's some kind of mold. Well, <laughs> so, <laughs> we're trying something different. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what to think of that, but yeah, I mean, it, it definitely sounds interesting. We're willing to give it a try, so yes. stick with us. We are going to cook up this meat and put together some tacos and try it out. Okay, so we cooked up the taco meat and put together tacos. So we've got the, the corn, we've got cheese, we've got tomatoes, lettuce. I think you put a little onion on yours as well. And uh, no fat or low fat sour cream. Oh, that's right, I put low fat sour cream on mine too. We also have some pico de gallo salsa from Trader Joe's, which is right here. We're having some chips with it too my chips and salsa and we're also trying some mexican coke as well so i think i've had it once a long time ago and it is made with actual cane sugar rather than high fructose corn syrup like it is here so everybody says oh it's so much better so we're gonna enjoy some mexican coca-cola mexican coca-cola meatless tacos <laughs> well we try to be healthy in some areas right yeah okay are you ready? I'm ready. I have to admit, now when you said, oh, we're going to have corn meatless tacos. Let's see. <laughs> meatless, corn meatless tacos, based like on, not soy, but corn. Yeah, corn, corn. Corn? That's what I was wondering. Was it made out of corn? But no, no it's that, whatever that mold is. So here oh. we go. <laughs> mm. What do you think? I taste the seasoning. We did put a taco seasoning on it when we cooked it in the pan. What do you? Could you tell this was a meat substitute? Well, I need I need more bites. I say it's not bad with the taco flavoring on it. Yeah. I think the texture's not bad on it. Mm-hmm. I'd say it's pretty close, close mm -hmm. ground beef texture. Yeah, I just took a little bit where it just had the meat substitute in it. And texture is a little different from actual ground beef. It, it's a little softer, which seems to be the case when we get the ones that are done in the hamburger patties and things like that. It does. So you have that a little bit softer texture then. Yeah, I would agree. Than regular ground beef. But taste-wise, it it's not bad. It's a close approximation. Mm-hmm. 
You like that? I do. I'll try those with nachos. Yeah, nachos, or I was thinking other suggestions were to put it, say, in a pasta sauce. Mm -hmm. As a meat Good. substitute, maybe like in a, bre a bread pasta sauce. That might be nice too. Yeah. Yeah, so let us know have you tried this corn? With, I forgot what it's called, ground. I don't have the package with me now. It's like ground crumbles or something. It's supposed to be like ground beef or mince, I guess, if you're over mince. in the UK. <laughs> we always call it ground beef here, but. Have you tried this or other products by this company and do you have any favorites that you like? So I'm going to take a little dip into the salsa too. Okay. I think we picked this up before, didn't we? Mm-hmm. So. I really like the pico de gallo. This is the mild. I believe they have a medium as well. Maybe they have a hot too, but I, I don't remember seeing it. But I do like the mixture of the, the tomatoes, the onions, the cilantro. And I wonder if this one even has the, usually it has jalapenos in it as well. Maybe mm -hmm. because it's mild, it doesn't have it. It's good. I like it. Just fresh. I like it too, yeah. It's nice and chunky. Would you like your Mexican Coke? I would. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Can you tell the difference by the taste? The it does taste a little bit different. Do you, do you think it tastes different? I think so. Okay. Maybe it's a little bit less sweet. I actually haven't had Coca-Cola in a little while, but... I see a <clears throat> taste test in our future. <laughs> And it almost seems, is it more carbonated, do you, do you think? Let's find out. <laughs> I really can't tell. I'm not sure either. <laughs> I need them next to, next to each other to... Maybe the non-Mexican is maybe a little more carbonated. A little bit more carbonated, yeah. maybe not quite as sweet of a flavor, I think, with the cane sugar, because high fructose corn syrup is pretty sweet, so... So I think we're gonna wrap it up now and enjoy the rest of our dinner. This will probably be posting later this week, but if you checked out our community page on 4th of July, you probably saw a cute picture of Finn. If you haven't seen that, check out our community page. He got groomed at his local groomer and they took a picture of him with a 4th of July background. And and we're, we're dreading tonight a little bit because he hates fireworks and we know it's gonna go on for hours. You know, the, the booms and the bangs and he shakes like a leaf. Piccolo Pete sounds, yeah, yeah. He, he's he's so afraid. So we're gonna do our best to try to keep him calm and try to distract him. Yeah, uh, to everyone, have a happy 4th of July. Have a happy 4th of July for those of you that celebrate. And if you like food reactions and food tastings, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.